Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be kitting up three diamond paintings. There is, yeah, sorry, my throat was dry. So the first, or I don't know which one I'm kitting up first, but this one is from Cat Ear. I'm going to move you down just too far up. <laughs> This one is from Cat Eared, and it's a square crystal rhinestone. This one is from Craft Ease, and this is a round with some crystal rhinestones and ABs. And this one here is from Crystal Canvas Art Designs, and this is also a square crystal rhinestone. So, yes, I'm excited to do these ones with the square crystal rhinestones because... It's the first ones I've done. And yeah. And I need one to do in between so that I can't just do like two square crystal rhinestones in a row because that's too much. Too much of a good thing. <laughs> so I think I'll do I'll kit this one up first, mainly because it's the one with the least amount of colors. This one has 28 colors. So I'm gonna use these containers here, these should have 28 in there. And of course my drills. So here are the drills. I did end up um, scanning the legend to make the labels mainly because there's only one legend. That's the only legend. There is no other legend on this diamond painting. So, so scan the legend. And plus, you know, I used to do this for all my diamond paintings, scan the legend to make the labels. It's only recently that I started doing the cutting, well, I don't know that recently, but it's only later on where I just started just doing the cut the legend from the canvas thing. But I do still kind of like to cut, to scan the legend for my bigger ones. And these ones I consider bigger because most of the time I don't... I don't diamond paint anything that big. So usually 40 by 50, 45 by 60 are my... I mean, I do, yeah, I do 40 by 50s, but it's usually those are my, yeah, actually, I don't know. 45 by 60 is my big one. And anything bigger than that is just kind of like a, one off. I don't do them that often. Although, I mean, I've already, this year I've done probably three diamond paintings. Four, wait, one, maybe three or four diamond paintings that are above of my current, my usual size. But yes, I don't normally go, I don't normally go that big in my diamond paintings. Mainly because, I don't know, I enjoy the smaller ones. I feel like I would get burnt out if I did the big ones. Or maybe I just wouldn't be able to kit up as much if I did, if I only did the big ones. So let's just move that to the side because I'll need it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna actually label all of the containers first. Make sure they're all right side up. So I put I put like a black marker in the back so that I know which one which side is up. It's just my way of figuring out which way is up, just so that you don't have to look at it too long. And for whatever reason, when I have the when I have the container in this orientation, I like to put the earlier ones down here. I don't know. The 28 drill containers, I don't know, I start, at, I start from the top, even though I could technically do the same thing I'm doing now. I, I used to just scan just the, the symbol and in the DMC. I started scanning the, the first number two because a lot of diamond paintings come like this. This is all I got, number 12. So it's like, okay, I guess I need that first letter, number two. And then the DMC is for my kitting down purposes. You technically probably could just do one, two, three, four, five, six, and but 
for kidding down purposes, I want the DMC number in there. But if you wanted to, you can probably just have one, two, three on your on your containers. But I like having the symbols because I never look at my legend. And let me just tell you, like, I very the only time I look at the legend is when the diamond painting has a lot of symbols and I just can't find it on my containers right away. I'm a look for it on the container and see it right away. And that's why my favorite legend is just the one, two, three. It's, it, you, I feel like you don't waste all that time looking for symbols for your, for your box. It just makes it so much faster if, if you just like bam and see it right away. Oh yeah, I forgot to do all my normal things on my journal entry here, so because I already put my stickers on. So it is a 40 by 50. Yep. So that's correct. This is a full drill with poured glue. There's 28 colors. There is a DMC code. These are rounds with let's see looks like one two two ab's and one two 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 glow in the dark and well there's a special okay so so two ab's i'm pretty sure two ab's Two ABs. There is two crystal rhinestones, I think, and two glow in the dark. Two glow in the dark, and I'm gonna highlight the crystal rhinestone so I'll be able to see it easier later on for kidding down purposes too. So I'm pretty sure number seven is a crystal rhinestone just because of the code zero seven zero. That's a crystal rhinestone. Do I only have one crystal rhinestone? So just this, oh wait, what's number seven? Seven and 14. 14 is also a crystal rhinestone, but it has like, and that one's a crystal rhinestone. So two crystal rhinestones and two glow. I didn't write that down, two glow in the dark. Don't have that as a, uh, Maybe those could be considered specials. Okay. And I'm kidding this up today. I'm like, what day is today? May 22. May 22. So I'm not I'm not ahead of schedule on my kidding ups anymore. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of behind because this is gonna be posted the Friday immediately after this is being kitted up. So I guess I don't need my scissors because these are all in baggies. So 24. So and I don't I'm not using these bags anymore for kitting down purposes so I have to come up with a thing to do with them. But I'm still keeping them until further notice, so I'm just trying to ponder what to do with them. So I, I did my whip and chat for Wednesday's video, so I think I've killed pretty much everything I could think of to talk about. So, so yes, I am... I'm kidding this up mainly because I do have another crafties on my way and I want to show it as my finish at the end of the video and it's been actually a while oh, no actually no I just did a I just did a round I'm like I haven't I haven't done a glow in the dark in a while okay this is not gonna fit if I try to do a shaky shaky will I be able to fit more I 
I was I was thinking, I was like, nothing looks like it's that much. They should all fit. I'm like, as long as I could hear stuff, that means there's still more space, right? But I think that might be it. So 13, I'll just have to, hopefully, can I put stuff in here and close it? Yeah, I'll just have to put it up on top and... You know, I realized I could probably move you this way a little bit more forward so you can see and eh, okay there. So that's too full. I was hoping everything would fit in. There's no, I don't have any extra boxes, so it's pretty much what's going to fit in the boxes. That's it. Okay. I think this one, I think I could get in there. There's not that much extra. So just do a little extra shaking, do some there. But yeah, no, I actually just on Wednesday's video, I, which I just recorded <laughs> like just a little bit earlier today. I did my, finished my, one of my Heaven and Earth Designs diamond paintings. So, yay! I still have several. Because <laughs> I kitted up four of them. So. But I'm at the point where I'm actually done. I was, that the Heaven and Earth Designs, what, I was done with it. I do have some stuff kitted up, but I haven't started them yet. So this is the time when I'm just like pondering what to do next. And I'm thinking one of these, the square crystal rhinestones, will probably be what I do next. Because yes, I'm at that, and I'm at that point where I'm like, what am I going to do next? Well, this one's kind of dusty. I could see, I could feel the like dust particles on the bag. Even though I, like I said, I have stuff kitted up. I just, I usually have a whole bunch kitted up so that I can ponder which one I want to do next. And this is the time I'm pondering what to do next since I just finished a diamond painting today. So, but I think, I think what's going to win is one of the square crystal rhinestones because I'm excited to try it. I'm hoping it's everything I hope it's to be. <laughs> I hope it's going to be awesome. because I like doing squares and I like to do rhinestones. So I'm hoping the square crystal rhinestone will mean it's even more awesome. But now I'm probably hyping it too much. And when it's not as awesome as I think it is, going to, it, it's going to be a massive disappointment. But I went and bought them, even though they were not on sale. I'm one of those buy on sale kind of people <laughs> so so yeah it's kind of an anomaly but since it's a new thing the square crystal rhinestones i figure you're not going to be able to buy any for cheap anytime soon i don't think am i going to be able to fit this you're not going to be able to find buy anything cheap anytime soon so until it gets more common. I don't think this is going to fit. I think I'm just going to be too greedy trying to get this to fit. So, but yeah, until it becomes more common, I think they're going to be, they're going to be expensive, 20. So two so far have not been able to fit, but what's nice is they do come in the baggie. So it's already, I, I mean, I would probably put it in a baggie anyway, so this works out. And it, I did test to see if I'll be still able to close the container even with... Oh, 
off a random extra drill. Oops. I was trying to get my trash jar. Things fell. My random trash jar. So my random trash jar doesn't have to be bad drills, it's just extra drills. Okay. That fell down. I actually have two trash jars going, one one that's in this room and then one that's in my living room where I diamond paint. So And I don't know why I keep it instead of just tossing it in the garbage. I find like I don't know, I find it kind of amusing. And no, that's not my trash because I throw away my spares. No, that's just my trash drills. <laughs> so yeah, tons of trash drills. So five. But yep. So just trying to it is much quicker to kit up, I think, well, sometimes, with the the baggies. Sometimes, because if they're not in order, then it does take a little longer, because you either have to do what I did, which was label all your containers or put them in order, while the strip packaging are usually in order, so... And... And if you weren't like me, who went and bought the thick bags to use for your spares, this is pretty much all you need to do to start accumulating bags to put your spares in, is diamond paintings like this. Okay, I got everything. Is there drills and everything? Yep. So... Let me take out some air so it doesn't... Oh wait, there's a little hole in there, so that's great. So it doesn't burst. And let me put a label on this. So this is... I'm going to call it Cat's Craft Ease 40 by 50. I should be able to find that. And label it there. Okay. So that was quick. 28 colors. I figure I was just gonna kit up in quantity order. <laughs> So next one, this one, quantity of colors. So this one has 30 colors here. And where is it? So this one is Dynamic Floral Fantasy by Ricardo Chavez Mendez. It's from Cat Eared. I paid $26.01. It's a 30 by 40. I think. 30 by 40. Yep, 30 by 40. Yeah. It's close enough to the 30 by 40. Full drill with poured glue. There is 30 colors. And this is crystal square rhinestone. So I'm going to put... I don't know, CR square, crystal rhinestone square, and this has the DMC code, and I'm still kidding this up today, which is May 22, 2022, so, so this one came with an inventory sheet, I just decided to scan the legend anyway, mainly because the inventory sheet, when I was looking at it, it's really far apart, the, this here. And I was planning to use these here, mainly because this is a 30 by 40, it's not that big. But yeah, no, I don't think it was going to fit. 
Maybe it would have fit. It's it's very far apart. Yeah. See the inventory sheet is very far apart. So So I did end up just scanning the legend to make the labels here. So Where's my blade? Okay. Now if I I cut that too much some tape there so hopefully it doesn't come apart that's the hazards when you just replace the the blade is it's just a tiny bit too sharp and then when it gets duller it's actually much easier to use the the blades but then there's a point where it just gets too dull that you have to replace it so then it becomes too sharp so there's that Middle ground that has is when the blade I feel like is the easiest to use for this kind of purpose because I feel like I barely barely touched it so so I think these ones were in order. They're just kind of backwards order. So let me take some out and 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. There, it's just with these things being stuck together, I'm like, am I, what's nicely on screen? These things stuck together. I can't label them all because some of them are going to need more than one container. But, but yeah, see, crisp, square crystal rhinestones. I'm excited. I do actually have some square crystal rhinestones, but you know they're more like in my stash for you know blinging up purposes and not. Okay, there's some static in this. I'm gonna blow some air into it. You could also just get some baby wipes or something, but I mean not baby wipes, dryer sheets. To help, but if it's really bad, I'll I'll put it in. But for now, doesn't seem too bad. 208 looks like it might need to it also probably doesn't help that i'm kidding up on top of plastic on plastic on plastic so just some hot air in there just to give it some moisture to hopefully settle down the static Number three, three fifteen. So three forty. You know, once like sometime last year, Cat Ear did contact me and asked if I would review their their advent calendar and then I responded back and they never responded and I was like yeah sure I'll do it and they never responded back <laughs> so so yeah I don't know so maybe they were just like nah we don't want we don't want Joan to <laughs> to review our product 
either that or I responded too slow. I mean, I think I responded the next day. So, and they already reached their quota of folks to do a review. I don't know. But they could have at least, you know, responded back and said, yeah, we're done. We, we don't need you. Is this going to fit in here? I don't think so. I think I'll just go into the... I'll have, I think I'll have plenty of space. Since I did the whole 28... I have 56 containers here. So... I was pretty sure it wasn't going to fit in just the 28 drill con or, well, it wouldn't have because there's 30 colors, but yeah, usually it's these smaller ones with the 30 colors where I'm just like, what container can I use? I don't have enough, there's not enough space in a Harbor Freight container and in my 60 bottle cases are just too big. So, so yeah, what do you do with these ones with 30 colors? that are on the medium side of size because yeah this one only has 28 containers and the Harbor Freight only has the 27 containers that you could fit in there it comes with it comes with 24 but it but you can squeeze three more in so So yeah, I have tons of storage, but not enough storage. <laughs> tons of storage, but not enough. Okay, that looks like a trash drill. So I think these might be resin drills, The, because I noticed that trash drill that I threw away was the drill where it looks kind of like, it's like concave, and I see that more often in the resin drills than acrylic. So these might be resin drills for these See, I have another crystal rhinestone. I'm wondering if any of those, when, because I, I own, I own these are gonna be my pretty much my two crystal rhinestone diamond paintings. I do have some crystal rhinestones that I got from AliExpress previously, but these might be. And I'm wondering if they're gonna match each other. That's where I'm trying to go with my. Like, is there any numbers in? So this one has seven nine six, and the other one has seven nine six. So I'm, an, I'm gonna be. I'm going to wonder if they're going to match each other because and then my square rhinestones from AliExpress are also with using DMC codes so so yeah I wonder if these are going to match my square rhinestones that I got from AliExpress because I don't have I don't have any other ones But I do know I don't have 30 colors for my square crystal, my square rhinestones that I got from AliExpress. So this will be more colors than I currently have. And then my other one has 45 colors, which is awesome. I have 45 colors of square crystal rhinestones. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so excited about the rhinestones, but I am. I know seven. Although when I kit down my rhinestones, I kit down by by color. So I'm gonna have to start. Ooh, this 939 is actually looks purple. 
I thought maybe these would be black, but they're, uh, well, they kind of look, they kind of almost look purple. So I'm going to start this next one. I think is there going to be enough? So 30, there's three. Nine, six, nine, ten. So, because, yeah, I didn't think these two would fit into there, and I don't want to have ones go into the next row if these are all just going to be four anyway. So I had a rogue one. Where is it? Oh, there it is. So nine three nine. So yeah, there's a lot of the colors that don't overlap, so I might have I might have tons of different choices now for I don't know why I'm excited. I don't know why I'm more- I feel like I'm more excited for having spares than I am for diamond painting. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm weird that way. Where I'm like, ooh! Cause do you know, like, I have so many spare regular round crystal rhinestones that if I want to bling anything up that I do rounds, I have plenty to do. But in my squares, I'm like, oh, I wanted to- I wanted a- I don't know, this color, and I don't have any of that color, and... Or I wanted something like this color, and I don't have any spares of... I don't have any crystal rhinestone that matches that color, so then, yeah. So now I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna have choices. But yeah, I don't know why I'm more excited about having spares than actually diamond painting this. I think I'm still excited about diamond painting it, but... I'm looking forward to having, I'm hoping there'll be extras, and it's not going to be like a skim. I'm hoping there'll be extras. Oh, there's some still in here. Eight, ten. Okay. Three, eight, two, two. Yeah, like I said, I don't know why I'm more excited about having spares, <laughs> but I am. Okay, some static in this one. Breathe into it. Three, eight, three, seven. Oops, that's backwards. I think I might need two containers for this one. But yeah, no, so far these look awesome. I won't really know until I actually diamond paint it because I'm one of those people who care <laughs> a little too much about gapping. So I'm hoping this fits nicely on the, oops, there's still two more in here, fits nicely on the canvas. And I, I'm, I'm on the, I feel like most gapping is not necessarily because of the drills and it's more the canvas. That the the squares are printed too far apart. So I'm hoping this will turn out nice. Okay, whoops, I need another one with minimal gapping. 
nice fitting squares. Um, like I said, I'm hyping this up. And I might be gearing myself to disappointment if this is not as awesome as I think it will be. Just trying to settle those. Some static there. I think this tray came to me from some storage that I got and I, I found it because I have so much random stuff. I found it, I was like, hey, you know what? I think that might do well for kidding up because, because I, I never have to shake the tray because I'm like this you kind of it's kind of hard to shake because there's places where the stuff might fly while I don't ever really need to shake it because it's just going to pour in and I was like hey this is a nice pouring thing so so there's this one so let me make a label so what is this we'll call it the cat eared well this is the only cat eared I have so, so what is this? We'll just call it square crystal flower. So this is the only cat eared I have. I, I, I do see they have a bunch of mystery diamond paintings, but I've been, I don't know. I feel like I've, I've been burned by the first crystal, by my first, um, mystery diamond painting that I'm 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 a little bit reluctant to try to do another one. Another mystery diamond painting. Okay, so many baggies, and these are like the perfect size baggies because these were what I was using for my spares. But nope, not anymore. So last one is this one here. It's massive. It's a 45 by 60 here. I like having this here so that I can see the legend. And so, wait, let's see. I need to fill this out. So there's the image. This is called Pretty in Pink by Robin Mead from Crystal Canvas Art Designs. I paid $44 for this. It's a 45 by 60. Let's see. I did just unbox it, and if my plans for videos go correctly, you should see have seen the unboxing yesterday. 45 by 60 full drill with pour glue. There is 45 colors. I'm excited. There's 45 colors. And then this is um, crystal rhinestone squares and these have DMC codes and it's still 522. 22. So. so yeah, I was like, what do I do with 45 colors? So I'm using one of my 60 bottle cases here. This is actually my favorite version of the 60 bottle cases is the one in the plastic container as opposed to the one with in the zipper container. The zipper containers look beautiful, but I can't tell what's in there. <laughs> so yeah, I, for whatever reason, this is my favorite version of the bottles is the ones in here. I did make, I did cut up like some mail, like to, to put the dividers in just because, but yep. So I, I also scanned the legend to make labels for these ones. Since this one is there, the bigger ones, I kind of feel compelled to do this as opposed to cutting it from the canvas. So, and since there were 45 colors, I needed two strips for my, because, because usually I would just fit everything in this, you know, this is just the eight and a half size part of the paper, but with 45 colors, I was like, okay, I think I need to do two strips. So now there's like 22 and 23 colors in there. Okay, I did only a very light scoring, so hopefully I didn't go through it. So, so 
so cut these. So I'm going to label all the bottles first, mainly because they were not in order, and then during the unboxing I started showing some stuff, but they weren't in order. If they were in order, I would have not bothered showing some of them, but since they're not in order, I'm going to have to label the bottles first. See, that's, like I said, one of the hazards of having the, the baggies is they tend to come out of order, so... So to kit up, I usually would kit up, I would either have to put them in order or you have to label the bottles first and then just look for it instead of trying to do the kitting up in order. So I find that that's the easiest way to go about it instead of trying to put the bags in order just they'll come in order when you put them in the bottles although so so crystal canvas art designs usually they're they're round diamond paintings their their legend tends to have the symbols be one two three abc this square one which i'm guessing is from a different manufacturer is not that way there's a bunch of symbols a bunch of letters they're not in order and the canvas actually is different it has the soft back canvas it doesn't have the scalloped edges which i don't i don't know i don't know what the scalloped edges are for it may be other than looking pretty but it does have that soft backing in there but there's a lot of more symbols in this there's symbols 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 i'm probably going to have to put these in some sort of order but for now they will just be in DMC order while I'm kidding them up so for ease of kidding up and then maybe depending on how long this video is I'll put them in the order that I like which is you know symbols Okay, maybe I was a little too light on my scoring. I like to put the letters first and then numbers. And then symbols. Although I think most diamond paintings do numbers first and then letters. Maybe I should change it that way. But for kidding up, they need to be in order. It's just easier to find the codes when they're in order so so now i have to think how am i going to sort my spare squares crystal rhinestones i think i'm going to still do my it like my rest of my specials by color because mainly because when i use my extras for blinging up it's easier when they're in by color so so you don't have to always do like a dmc to dmc substitute you just kind of like oh i need a blue and not necessarily oh i need 907 and i'm just saying 907 because that's one here I mean, it's a little bit easier when you just be like, oh, I have that DMC. Oh, okay, I could use this one at, to replace the one that's on the canvas, the regular drill that's on the canvas. But sometimes you're not, you're not going to have 450, 445 colors for the ABs or 445 colors for the crystal rhinestones. So you're not going to be able to have every single... DMC to DMC substitution so sometimes you just have to go for one that's similar enough and sometimes the DMC to DMC substitute is not the best because ABs add a weird coating to the top of the drill and it might not look right if you use that on a substitute because the weird coating can change the color a lot and and then your diamond painting won't look right because you substituted something that looks a little too different 
So, so that's why I have my spare specials in by color so that I just end up choosing whichever I think is the best substitute as opposed to what is exactly needed. Doesn't that look pretty? I don't know. I actually place the labels nice and straight. The one bad thing about the round bottles is when you put them in, they're not gonna be you're gonna when you put them back, they're not gonna be nice and straight anymore. So 815. So I'm curious if these are gonna match I'm the other ones in colors. You know, since they're not in order, I'm just gonna dump them out so that I have that bag to put my bags in. See, that's what I mean. I put it in and now it's not all straight. I'm not going to go put them all straight because I'm going to put these in color order at some point. I mean in symbol order because it's just easier to diamond paint when they're in order. Six. Oh, six. Apparently I can't pour in without having some fly somewhere else. Eight three nine. I do find the baggies a little bit harder to pour from than the the stiffer bags that you cut cut up but I guess you don't need scissors for this and if you're one of those folks that like working from the baggies you don't have to kid up I am not one of those folks I will work from the baggies if it's a small one sometimes but or there's only a few colors and then I just just diamond paint by color. I have done that, but most of the time I will still kit up. Um, yeah. Unless it's it's a small one. But for something this size, yeah, no, I'm kit up. Nine forty three. But I, cause I, but I know there's folks that don't like kitting up, so. I'm not one of them. <laughs> there. I'd rather have them in these nice, lovely containers so that it'll be easier for me to find it, or if I just want one drill, I could just stick my pen in here. I have tried the sticking your pen in for random drill. I have tried the whole diamond painting from the baggie, and it works when I use my angled tip, but I don't use angled tips for my squares. I've tried using the angled tip before for squares and I just couldn't get the hang of it. So, but for my rounds, I use the angled tips for for my rounds at least. 550. I don't know. I'm like, why can't I find it? <laughs> there's this many colors like normal crystal canvas art designs diamond paintings 
only usually have 30 colors. So I'm, I'm actually happy that the square ones have this many. No, my. This is why I have a tray underneath and even with a tray underneath, it's not enough to catch when am I gonna be able to fit this gonna close this and yes I do have extra bottles but there's so few left that I don't feel like I need a second bottle for this so just shaking it to settle it more so that there's space there Nine, five, eight. So yeah, like I said, this is my favorite version of the 60 bottle case. I do have, oops, there's some plastic in there. I do have a couple of the ones that are in the zipper bags. I could have taken those out and used it for this, but I still had I still had this one available, so but I, I, I reserved the, the zipper bag ones for I don't know, ones that might I figure will take me longer or I might not do right away. <laughs> instead of one where I think I'm probably going to do this one soon just because I'm excited to try a square crystal rhinestone. Sure, the other I'm probably going to do the cat-eared one first just because it's smaller and this one will take me a while and I figured the cat-eared one will be yeah, smaller, get used to doing the square crystal rhinestones because I, I mean, I've done plenty of round crystal rhinestones and when you do crystal rhinestones, the I feel like the silvering on the back does dirty up your pen faster. So if you're finding that that you're like having to refill your wax, it's not. I think it's just the silvering just dirty dirty ups the the pen faster. So it can be a little bit more annoying so it might take a it might be a little bit more difficult to do these but I, I i find at least they're easier to work with than ab's ab's sometimes can be a massive pain to diamond paint because they like pulling out your wax you have to have like an extra pen nearby that's dirty i mean sometimes i just scrape my wax onto <laughs> some some like I just usually just get my pen and I just start scraping it onto the side of my canvas just to dirty it up a little bit. My my wax when I'm doing ABs. But ABs look awesome when they're on there. They're just a pain sometimes to diamond paint. Okay. 5200 excited about this one because I, I there's been times where I was like oh this would be great if I had the clear crystal rhinestone and I'm like I don't have one for my squares like when I bling things up I find that the like I just once you start do it once where you add your own ex your own bling to a diamond painting you just keep going and then you just try to find places to add your own touch to the diamond painting. That's what I call... Okay, there's barely any space in there. I don't even... I barely hear it. But I only have three more. And I need every one because guess what? If I run out of drills on these, I'm going to be contacting the company because I'm not going to have any spares. Unless... It's for, if, unless, yeah, my cat-eared one, 
I do first, and then the only spares I'll have is for my cat-eared one. And then I do have square crystal rhinestones that I got from AliExpress, but there were only like maybe 20 colors, and this has 45 colors, so what are the odds that I'm gonna have... I'm gonna have a, the correct spares? Probably very minimal. Okay, so this one is probably the first one where I'm gonna need two bottles. So just gonna start here label paper just use so this left over here 3607 3607 632 but yes I hope this turns out awesome because oh my rice is done cooking <laughs> if you hear a beeping that's my rice is cooking in the back but yeah I hope this turns out awesome I am kind of sad that it has more assemblage than I like but I'm guessing their manufacturer this is how they do their symbols. Nope, I have actually a good amount of 310. 310. Several bags of it. Okay, so I'm guessing this is gonna need a lot of bottles. So let's just put three first. I'm guessing this is going to be the outlines in the picture because there's a lot of black outlines in the picture. Okay, it does look like I'm going to need probably two bottles per baggie. More bottles. Can only really fit three in there. So what I usually do with these is when I go to the next bottle, I'll just switch the cap with this here, just because so at least the bottle in use has the symbol in there. I probably only need one more bottle because they were all they all said 19.75 I'm guessing that's grams I think I read somewhere that one gram is about 200 drills not sure if that's true but Which one seems the least full? It's this one. Let's see which one else looks not as full. Okay. So, five. I need to label 310.
But yes, I hope there's enough spares because otherwise I'm going to have to test out the customer service then. <laughs> Be like, I ran out. Can I have more? I'm pretty sure they'll they'll send it. I think I think Crystal Canvas Art Designs is one of them that sends it. And at least for me, at least they're in the US, so I should get my replacements quickly. I'm hoping my cat eared one came from China, but you can buy it also on Amazon. But it was slightly cheaper to buy it from their website than it was for me to buy it on Amazon. But it did also take two weeks to get to me as opposed to the one on Amazon would probably be in my door in like two days, right? Sometimes, depending on where it's shipping from, sometimes I get it the next day. I'll be able to oh. I wonder when they chart these ones that are crystal rhinestone do they chart it with like just a normal square and then they just use the replace the the same like the DMC replacement for the crystal rhinestone or do they chart it slightly different because it is a crystal rhinestone? I don't know. One fifty-three. I'm assuming I'm gonna have enough bottles because I mean, I think I need. I had a lot of extra. This is there was 45 and there was 60 bottles, so that's 15 extra bottles. So I'm hoping there'll be enough bottles. One, five, four. Okay, six, six, six. I need a drink of water. So you don't want to see my floor right now. I have, I did just do, I did just record the unboxing for my crystal canvas art designs. So the diamond paintings are all on the floor, on the floor right now, you know, until I put it away. <laughs> but I was like, I need to keep, I need to, I need to record this. I'll fix it after I finish recording. That's what I told myself. Because yes, I'm I'm not ahead of schedule anymore. So I think next week I'm gonna have to record two kidding downs. Or you know, you might not and there I have I have plenty of kid um I mean I have I have to put, um record two kidding ups next week maybe. Or I could just put in a kidding down on Friday because I have plenty of kidding down ones because I was doing all my reorganizing stuff, so I consider the reorganizing ones um kidding downs also, so Oh, I actually have more 3607. Apparently I had two bags of it. Just making sure. Yes, they look. So I must have had two bags of 3607, so. Let's just. I think I probably only need that amount. 
I just didn't notice there were three bags of two bags of 3607. fix everything because I'm going to put everything in order anyway uh, at the end. Nine five five. This is a really pretty color. I like it. Nine 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 five. Nine sixty four question mark. This one's a really pretty color, too. Seven hundred. But yeah, no, I have I have a good amount of Kidding Downs. I mean, I even recorded two Kidding Downs yesterday, so. There might be a point where the Friday video is going to be a Kidding Down, or the Monday, Wednesday, Friday video is going to be all Kidding Downs. <laughs> Just because I have several already done, because, yes. I had a lot to kick down, and plus... I was doing the reorganizing videos and I ended up buying another pack of the thicker bags because I kind of ran out. I was, I, I, well, I was not really running, I, I was going to run out. I wasn't going to have enough so I bought another thousand pack. So at this point I have too many of the, oh that's like a different color. I have too many of the bags now so I think I'm gonna redo my my specials too which I was not planning to redo but I think I, I have enough bags now to to redo my specials also and I tested it out on a couple of them and it does really squish it in there so so I think I'll have a little bit more space on my specials containers too so I don't know if I'm just going to do that as another video or just do it as I go along. I might just do it as another video where I just switch them all and then I kind of will be able to put them in a better order. Hopefully. But I haven't done it yet. I haven't done the video yet. 150. It's all just like the videos I'm thinking of doing. Seven six two. I have to say, seven six two to me looks insanely like the fifty two hundred. <laughs> yeah, I would. I would be like, yeah, no, that looks like fifty two hundred. Like, if I were just to get these down by sight, I'd be like, yep, that's the clear, the clear rhinestone. 725. I'm excited to get the yellow rhinestones. I think they work really well for lights on diamond paintings. Nine forty seven. There. 
three, two, one. I see a little static in this one. Just breathe into it a little bit to settle it down. Three, eight, one, eight. Three seven nine nine. What color is three seven nine nine? Looks like it's supposed to be a brown on there, but it looks kind of gray. Three eight oh eight. What was I on? 3799. That's what this one should still be. Oops. Three, that's right there. 3808. Oh, this one's a really pretty color here. Nice, I don't know, I would call it salmon. Salmon color. Man, I really hope this <laughs> this diamond painting ends up awesome because putting all the I'm I'm expecting great things. And this is also like one of the more expensive diamond paintings I've bought. Mainly because there are bigger diamond paintings that I get, but I tend to have the coupons and things like that, so they end up actually being cheaper than this. But, but hey, you know, I used the coupon for the other diamond paintings I bought in this unboxing, so the other ones were only $10, so if I decide to just get all my diamond paintings that I bought and divided by, um, you know, divided by nine, then I spent like less than less than twenty dollars each diamond painting. So, oh, I still have extras in this one. For whatever reason, they stick to there. So, what is this? Three eight oh eight, and I need all my extras. Three. I need my extras because I'm not gonna. I don't have any spares. If I run out. This is it. Okay. Oh, I see another one. I don't know why it's, it tends to stick to where the the sticker is. Or maybe I just don't see it because it's behind the sticker. There. Okay. Plenty of baggies in there, and those would be pretty much the size of my baggies that I would use. So let me put it upside down, see if everything is filled to make sure I have drills for everything. Yes, it looks like they're filled. So now I'm gonna put these in order. What am I gonna do? So those are letters, symbols. Symbols, here's a number, letter, symbols, okay, so, symbols, letters, numbers, sim, I know what I'm doing, <laughs> might not seem like it, numbers, symbols, lowercase letters, but I usually just put the lowercase letter right next to the uppercase letter, so I don't so here's number one, so at least I know that's going in there. Here's two, here's three, four, 
Because there are five symbols, letters, more symbols, more letters. Here's a nine. Okay, so I don't see any more numbers other than these ones. So seven, nine, and then A, the big A, B, C, D, E. Okay, so B, C, D, E, I don't see F, G, H, I, J, K, L, I know there was an L, L, M, N, O, O, P, Q, R, S, T, and the small T, U, oh, there's a K, I missed it. J, oh, there's a G, I missed E, F, G, okay. Okay, okay, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. So, V, X, Y, Z. Now let's put these. So, three, six, oh, seven, seven, four, one, three, ten, one, five, three, and one, five, four. Okay. So now symbols, I kind of like to put them kind of by color. So the dark ones next to each other. So here's the white one. Here is the 310. There's the dark one. It's the blues. And then here's the greens. And yellows, and here's just the reds and oranges. All right, so there is that one kitted up. Let me. Put a label onto it. So what is this? This is this is my crystal canvas art design. So I'm gonna put C C A D, and I'm just gonna put square rhinestone. I mean, how many square rhinestones do I have? Two, and they're both kitted up now. <laughs> So I'm not going to not know what this is, and I'm going to do it almost right away, so. All right. So there it is. Everything is kitted up here. So here is all the stuff kitted up here, and then if you don't remember everything, that I kitted up here is this one here from Crystal Canvas Art Designs, this one from Cat Eared, and this one from Crafties. So that is all I have for today. So thank you very much for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye!